Hi, I'm Richard Slade of the Seaward Group, and in this short video we're going to be taking you through the process of testing a Class 1 fixed appliance. Although the video that we're going through today is going to be showing you how to do the testing, it's important to emphasise that the person carrying out the tests must be competent to do so. Each engineer must be kitted out with a two-pole voltage indicator, a proving unit, a safe rotation lockout kit, electrical screwdriver, and an Apollo series tester that has the capabilities of doing point-to-point -point testing. So, before we carry out any inspections and tests, it's important to ensure that the equipment is safely isolated. So in this instance, to do this, first off, I will switch the main switch in on the fuse connection unit, and then having checked to see if safe to do so, I'll then turn off the circuit breakers and main switch. With that now switched off, I'll get my lock-off device, insert that into the main switch, and then with the padlock and the signage there, information signage, I will lock off the equipment and then that key then goes into my pocket. Now that we've got everything locked out, uh, we obviously need to approve dead. So to do this, I need to get access to the fuse connection unit there. So what I'll do is then take off the front case of the fuse connection unit. So. After now removing the front cover of the fuse connection unit, we'll go through the process of proving that the item itself is safely isolated. So to do this, we'd use the two pole voltage indicator. And the first thing I'll do is just give it a quick visual inspection to make sure everything's as it should be and no damage to the indicator. First off, we'll use the proving unit to prove that the two pole indicator is functioning correctly. And at this point then, on the supply side of the fuse connection unit here, I'll check between line and neutral, line and earth, neutral and earth to prove that there's no voltage present. Again, I'm completing that. We know that there's no voltage there. I'll then use my two pole indicator again to prove on the proven unit that the indicator is still functional. So, having carried out safe isolation on the appliance, we're now ready to commence with the uh, formal visual inspection and the electrical safety tests. So to start off with, obviously the visual inspection on the fixed appliance itself, we'll be checking the heater, the fuse connection unit, and any exposed cable. Once we've completed that, we then get in uh, prepared ready for the uh, electrical safety tests. So to do this, we will disconnect the neutral and live conductors. Ready for the test, but leaving the CPC connected. On the Apollo tester then, we actually have a built-in sequence for testing a fixed class one appliance. So to carry out this test, I'm going to apply my crocodile clip onto the exposed metal part of the appliance, and obviously the other test probe onto the earth part of the fuse connection unit. When I'm ready to carry out the test, the Apollo will ask me for uh, the vision inspections, so I can record that those vision inspections have passed, and it will then actually come up with a message ensuring that the equipment has been safely isolated and ready to commence with the test. So at this point, I'm going to hit my test key, and it's now carrying out the earth continuity test, and again, that'll indicate that that particular test has passed. So we're now ready to commence with the insulation resistance test. So to do the insulation resistance test with my test probe, I'm going to link the live and neutral conductors together. I'm just to make sure I've got a good connection there. And then again, with the test probe, going to expose metal parts on the fuse connection unit. Again, the test has prompted me to ensure that the test is safe to commence. So I'll then hit the test key and carry out my insulation resistance test. That's now carried out that test and the electrical safety tests have passed. At this point, I will then log uh, an accompanying note saying the equipment that I've tested is an asset description and that's installed in the tester, ready to download to the Packguard 3 software. On completion of that, I will then reassemble the appliance, re-energise the circuit, and do a functional check to ensure the heater is working correctly. Thank you for taking the time to watch our short video. For more information, please visit our website, and for the latest industry news and events, please follow us via our social media. Look forward to seeing you soon.